Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Oscar Zhang and welcome. I um, have a bit of an ad hoc video today so I kind of put this together um, very last minute and um, so please hopefully you guys can bear with me. It's very unplanned, it's very kind of on the go, um, on the go, um, it's no it's very um, touch and go. I had mentioned before um, in one of my previous videos that there was a delivery problem with my brand new mirror. I bought a mirror from West Elm and it's this brass mirror with marble, um, a marble bar at the top and a marble bar at the bottom. Um, and there was a delivery problem so it had been delayed. So over the last week it finally got delivered and I am so excited to share with you guys. So. Um, excuse the lighting guys because it is actually night time now so I'm really sorry about that I'm gonna have to use internal lighting hopefully this is all you know okay um, but yeah so please bear with me guys um, I'm just really excited I want to show you this mirror and I thought that it would be a really good idea to actually kind of um, you know now that I've got a good mirror I can do a lot of outfit shots as well so um, with that in mind today's video as you could probably tell from the title is going to be uh, five ways that I style my Balmain blazer. Uh, a Balmain blazer is just such a versatile um, piece in your wardrobe and I honestly think that everyone should have um, one of them. Now if not a Balmain blazer at the very least just some sort of very sharply tailored blazer because it can really be dressed up, dressed down, casual, work, formal, whatever it is. Maybe not cocktail. I just had to think about this while I was preparing this video and I don't think cocktail would work with a Balmain blazer unless you go with like a power suit kind of look, which I will go into um, in my video. So um, first I wanted to show you the mirror and then we can get started into the video. So guys, here is um, me standing at my mirror, and I will now reveal to you uh, my new mirror setup. So previously, this was my black mirror, um, the wooden frame, and the one that can like tilt up and down, or back and forth, whatever you want to call it. And now I am so excited to reveal to you guys uh, my new mirror setup. Look how beautiful this is. This is honestly like it's so much bigger and it's like it's not overpowering. Um, you guys can't really see anything right now but let me give you an up and a down. <sighs> Look at that how beautiful that's the marble um, bar at the top and then you come down you have the marble bar at the top bottom as well and I think honestly guys it's so so beautiful. This mirror is actually so, so heavy. Um, oh, the lighting's gone horribly bad there. Let me just turn this off. There we go. Um, so the mirror is actually incredibly, incredibly heavy. Um, and it was a heck of a job to actually get this set up. But I am so, so excited. So to give you like the full length, you kind of have that um, as the roof. So it's just an empty space up there. And then you come all the way down and you've just got a little kind of space where you can get up close to the mirror and I think it just looks so, so stunning. Um, I've actually, it took me a while to kind of think of this um, and I just think it's perfect to have my suitcase there and kind of on display. It's not going to waste, you know, in a cupboard or anything. You can put it on display, everyone can see it. And um, just, I wanted to keep it really simple. So I've got some tote bags and little bits and bobs just hidden behind um, the mirror. So it's still kind of very useful space. But yeah, so this is my new setup. So now, um, previously I didn't really do a lot of outfit shots when I was going out. And when I did, I was never really satisfied with them because it the mirror was just not very nice. But now I think that um, this mirror is just so perfect. It's so good. It's so wide. And you can just really kind of see everything. You can see my whole outfit all at once. Um, please excuse the, short, excuse the shorts and the very casual wear. Um, I I'm going to be changing to a bunch of stuff. So, speaking of changing, we will get into the video very, very shortly. 
I have my bundle of clothes there and this can kind of also be a capsule wardrobe as well. Um, you have a different, you have a variety of items that you can wear in a variety of occasions. So it's going to be very helpful for those people that are minimalists and they like to just um, have a minimum amount of clothes and they so that they can create um, a really diverse wardrobe. It's perfect if you do want to have a crack at going for a capsule wardrobe because I really do think that it's possible if you um, want to invest in just say 10 pieces of clothing um, because I think there's like how many is there there's one two three seven eight nine and then a bunch of shoes here so let's say including shoes so um, tops bottoms jacket and shoes if you invest in say 15 pieces you can create a really really incredible uh capsule wardrobe and if you only have 15 pieces all of them can be you know really designer pieces you get really really quality clothing um but just fewer but if you purchase smartly you can create an incredible capsule wardrobe so Without further ado, I'm going to change into um, my first outfit and I will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can actually hear me because I am actually very far away from the camera, but if there's any issues, hopefully I will pick up on it before I edit it. I had this whole plan um, to kind of just uh, stand here because I think with the mirror here now and this beautiful backdrop that I have that it would be such a perfect way to have the camera there and do a stand-up video because I just think speaking when I'm standing is something that is just a little bit more comfortable for me. Now the only problem that I can see looking at my viewfinder is that I can't see my kind of like bottom half. So what I think I might do is I will talk you guys through my little capsule collection here that I've gathered from my existing pieces and then I will bring you guys up close and I will utilize the mirror where you can see my kind of whole outfit, my whole look. So um, what I'll do is I'll introduce the blazer first and it is this gorgeous piece here. So what we have here is the double-breasted Balmain blazer and it is obviously in the color black. It has gold hardware, six buttons, which is a Balmain signature, along with the five buttons on the wrist here. So it's very incredibly warm, this blazer, this particular one, because the one I have is 100% wool as opposed to cotton um, or, you know, any other sort of materials. Um, and most of the time I tend to wear this in the transitional seasons, so autumn or spring, because in those transition seasons it's not quite so cold that you have to wear like a thick coat, um, and so, you know, a blazer like this is perfect, which means I get to wear it um, at, you know, different times of the year throughout the year. So I have this in my wardrobe always. It is such a beautiful piece. I do really think everyone should have um, one of these. If not this one, um, just a really sharply tailored blazer because it's definitely worth investing in and I will show you why. So the first look that I'm going to talk you guys through is for work because I think obviously most of us will have a 9 to 5 job um, and I think that uh, work is going to be taking up the most time in all of our lives. What I wanted to show you guys is this blazer kind of in a very work environment. So what you guys can see is I have just got a plain white shirt, a uh, white business shirt, and I've got my Balmain blazer, I have a belt, and I've also got um, my pants here too. So just black, um, I guess, uh, slim fit pants you could call them. Something also I should add um, is that these outfits I have tailored um, so my taste in general is usually very androgynous so all of my stuff can be worn either by male or females. Uh, so this is my work outfit um, this is something that you can wear every day to work and you can see that the Balmain blazer just works perfectly with this. So what I'll do is I'll bring you guys closer and uh, talk you guys through this a little bit more. Alrighty guys, so here we are up close and personal. Um, so 
just to recap on the outfit, you have the Balmain blazer on the outside, and then you have just a plain white dress shirt on the inside. I have got my Fendi black belt um, here, and then slim fit pants, and for the shoes, I have opted to wear my Stuart Weitzman uh, Chelsea boots, because they just give me a little bit of height and um, they're still black leather, so they're definitely still very acceptable at work, and I think that they just um, goes together really well. So something like this, it's really, really slimming, and I think that it just looks so beautiful, and it's really good for work. So, like I said, you can imagine, obviously, being male, you can see a male wearing this, and also um, females, you can definitely rock this as well. Um, you know, get a nice white blouse, slim fit pants, even possibly heels, um, but I think when it comes to work, a lot of women find that heels, especially, I mean, I find I find it myself as well, because I do wear heels um, for work, you know, it's something that you're going to be, you know, walking all day, and it's just not that comfortable, so definitely, I think, platform, uh, not platform, sorry, boots um, with just a bit of a heel there um, is perfect. But yeah, so you can see this is a very uh, work-oriented outfit, and it just looks incredible. All right, hey guys, and here is outfit number two. Now, what you'll notice is that this is uh, very similar from here up because I think that the contrast between white and black is very, uh, it's just a very classic combination. So what this outfit actually is, um, is a very casual. So we did a workwear. Now let's say that you are going out with friends on a weekend um, and you need to kind of wear um, a very casual outfit, whether it's just to go shopping, um, you know, even, you know, grocery shopping or something. I mean, I've worn my Balmain blazer grocery shopping, so yeah. But, um, just something very, very casual, and you can just wear a nice t-shirt. So what I have here is just a t-shirt from Zara, um, and it's got this beautiful blue pattern on the side, and also I have jeans as well from Zara. So I will show you guys in a second. But something that I forgot for the work outfit is um, my handbag. I cannot believe that the most important, at least in my opinion, the most important bit of your outfit being the handbag, I forgot. So because I've already changed into this one, I'm just going to stay in this one for now. But I think for my work outfit, I would probably use, um, just because it's like a very all black kind of outfit, I'd probably go with my... So I would use this handbag from Louis Vuitton. So this is called the Brooks Tote, and it was a seasonal collection, um, it was a seasonal piece from a collection back, I think it's like fall, winter 17 for the menswear, but this particular shape is very similar to the women's, um, like, epi, um, I don't remember the name of it, but there's a square tote from the women's collection, Louis Vuitton, currently, that's very similar shape to this, you know, a long rectangular. Um, so the reason I picked this bag is because it's very androgynous, right? So you can have a male or a female wearing a bag like this. Um, this is a beautiful bag, by the way. I don't think I've ever shown this on my channel because it's been a while since I've worn this. Uh, but I do truly, truly love this bag. It's, it's actually incredible. It's really good leather, really, really well made. But yeah, so being an all-black outfit, I would probably wear that one with this handbag. Okay, so for this particular outfit, because it's more casual, it's less, it's not work, and that's the other reason why I would choose this bag as well, because this is very work-oriented. You can fit um, your laptop, A4 uh, documents, everything in here um, for work, so it's really, really good. Now, for this particular outfit, what I would probably go for is my Chanel boy bag, so I will grab that. So, here is my Chanel boy bag. Now, a lot of people do say that navy doesn't go with black, and that's one of the reasons why I have very, very little navy in this collection. But blue is my favourite colour. Uh, my Birkin's in a bright electric blue, um, and I have my Chanel boy bag in navy. I've also got um, a couple of other pieces in blue as well. Blue is my favourite colour. So, 
I don't think it's a fashion faux pas to actually use a navy with black because I think that if you do it well, you, it can look really good. So I will take you guys really close and I will show you guys um, the outfit. Okay, so here we go. Um, once again, it does look really similar to my work outfit, but um, I just think it looks really good. So why mess with something when it's working perfectly? Am I right, guys? It really just works everywhere. It goes for work. You can go out in it. You can do anything. Um, all black is amazing. So what you have here is my Zara t-shirt. So I just have this and then my Balmain blazer, which is very, very sharply cut. And I think it's beautiful. And then I have my um, Chanel boy bag in the chevron navy and I also have my Zara pants as well so this one is more of a kind of a punk rock kind of look but you can see that um, even though it's all black very similar I have uh, combat boots on from Converse All Star uh, I bought these like 10 years ago so they have lasted me really well. These are leather combat boots and they are beautiful. But okay, so you can see that this, even though it's all black, does actually look very, very different to the work outfit. And that's because the fabric is different. So this is denim. The business shirt is also a bit more satiny. And the navy in this instance is just a kind of a pop of color for the all black. And Another fantastic thing about this is that it does match the navy that I have on my shirt as well. So this, I think, is a really good example of how to do navy and black together because I do think that it works really well. All right, guys, number three. So we have a completely different look this time around. And hopefully this is something that you guys will agree with because it is a bit out there. But the reason for this is because... I thought that a look like this is kind of the closest kind of thing that you'd be able to do for a cocktail event. It is very difficult, in my opinion, to pair a Balmain blazer or any sort of blazer with a dress, um, unless you've got kind of like the long um, coat ones that you kind of like tie at the waist. But other than that, it's very difficult to match a ball gown or a cocktail dress with um, a blazer. So for a cocktail event, I thought that it would be good um, to kind of show this style off for you guys. You know, you have a very, very out there blouse. You've got nice silky pants that kind of flow and give you a dress effect. And then also you have just the blazer draped over you. Now for a handbag for this particular look, I have chosen... I have chosen my Chanel uh, rocket ship collection bag. Um, I call it that because it's from the 2017 um, Chanel rocket ship collection and it is the iridescent uh, 255. Sometimes it's silver, sometimes it's pink, and I just thought that this kind of colour combination would go really well with the pink on the pants. I do understand that this is a very out there outfit, it's not for everyone, but the purpose of this is it's not to wear every day, because I think that this would be very kind of out there and a bit too out there, but if you're going to a special event, I think that this is perfect. It just looks very put together. For women, it's a very, you know, power... It's a very powerful kind of thing to go in a pantsuit. I think that, um, you know, if you can pull off a pantsuit, it's incredible. And I think for men, you know, it's very feminine. And if you are comfortable in your skin, I say go for it. Because this outfit is obviously in my wardrobe and I will definitely wear this. And I have, I don't... I don't know if I've worn this specific combination, um, but because I did get this brand new, this, um, if you've watched my unboxing video for this, I got it um, maybe just a couple months ago in the, um, uh, I think it's like the Boxing Day sales or something like that. So um, this is a very new combination for me, but I really, really like it. So I will take you guys really up close and I will walk you through my outfit. Alrighty guys, so what we have here, um, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> is I obviously have the Balmain blazer draped over the top. So this is perfect when you are just feeling a little bit chilly. Generally, if you go to special events and those ballrooms and stuff, it, the air cons are very, very strong. So it can actually get a bit cold. 
so this is perfect. Then um, for the shirt, you have um, my Valentino silk shirt. So it's very flowy, it's very kind of nice, it's very beautiful um, and so comfortable but it's very out there. Um, it's a very bright colour, it's very kind of like in your face and I really like that because if you're going to a special event like a cocktail party or a work event, um, you do want to stand out. Um, but yeah, so for the bottoms we have the wide pants that I got from Zimmerman and it's very flowy, it's very beautiful and you can see that this whole outfit is very, very feminine. So for women, it's definitely a really good, uh, if you want to do an outfit like this where you're not very confident in wearing pantsuits, but you want to kind of like, you know, put your toe on the line. Speaking of toes, um, for shoes, I am wearing heels. I'm extra tall. Um, I am wearing my, if I can get it, my Alexander McQueen boots that I got a couple of months ago. And then for the bag again, so I'm just wearing this as a clutch. Um, I generally do wear this bag as a clutch if I'm going out. And this is my Chanel iridescent uh, 255 in the medium large size with the rainbow hardware. So I'm not sure if you guys can see. Ooh, how gorgeous is that? That is stunning. Just won't focus, but that is so, so stunning. But yeah, so I think that this is perfect. The hardware all matches. Now, obviously with this, you can um, opt for a lot of jewelry and stuff because it is, um, you are, you do want to stand out. But um, the purpose of this, I wanted to show you that you can, you can wear this to a cocktail event. You can wear this um, to a dressy event as well. So hopefully this look um, is agreeing with you guys because um yeah this is a very special look um that I have put together and I really really like it and I kind of just want to no, I'm going to stop talking and outfit number four is another casual outfit I wanted to revisit this category because I think work is very self-explanatory you can already see that the blazer is going to work with your work outfits very easily. Um, now, whether you're going to be wearing a pencil skirt if you're a female, um, whether you're wearing pants, as I did if you're a male or female, um, or a dress, you can put that blazer with any work outfit. Now, with the cocktail category, it's a bit more difficult because like I said, I think with a cocktail dress, whether it's knee length, floor length, if you have a ball gown, it's very difficult to put that blazer, in my opinion, um, pair it with a gown like that or with a dress or a skirt like that. Hopefully that kind of give you an idea about different ways that you can rock a pantsuit um, to a cocktail event because all you have to do is just uh, find pieces that are very different, very out there, and it will really make your outfit pop. Um, and I think that it's a great way to uh, make yourself stand out. With the casual outfit, I realized that my first casual one was very uh, black. It's very, um, very similar to my work outfit that I showed you. So I wanted to revisit this category so that I can kind of show you complete opposite end of the spectrum where a very white oriented outfit and I will take you guys real close and I will walk you through it. Okay so you guys can see that I have a very white oriented outfit here and I haven't put my blazer on because I wanted to just show you guys that um, you know this is just a very casual t-shirt it's a very wide open neck very short sleeved and um, yeah so it's just uh, just a t-shirt. Now uh, this one I picked, um, it's from Peter Alexander, and I picked this one to go with this outfit because it has um, grey, you know, kind of like a gradient grey here, so it goes kind of like really dark um, black and grey, and it has bits of gold um, here. This used to be very, very shiny, but after washing it for three years, it's kind of just like rubbed off, but it's like very gold. It's a bit brassy, you can see, um, but anyways. I've chosen to go with an Hermes belt and black acne, oh uh, sorry, white acne pants, um, white acne jeans, and my Alexander McQueen kicks. So I will pop the blazer on and I will show you guys um, how it looks. And here we are. So I've popped the blazer on and you guys can see that it does hide most of the shirt but the bits that you can see are very different. It's not just a plain white shirt. Um, however, it's just white denim jeans with my Alexander McQueen kicks. So you can see that this is very 
toned down. It's very casual. And because I'm wearing sneakers as well, I do feel like I can, you know, even go for a run, honestly, guys. With the blazer on, you know, it's just transformed the whole thing. It's kind of pulled the whole look together. It just makes it look very put together. And I think that it's a very wonderful and easy way to do any do that for any outfit whether it's work or casual um drinks or brunch or whatever sort of outfit that you have on the blazer the Balmain blazer is just such an easy way to kind of elevate your outfit to the next level and just make it look absolutely fabulous now last last bit to my outfit is definitely a handbag not quite sure which one i would go for honestly um I think this one is a very cute, yes, that is perfect. This is gorgeous and I think that this handbag goes so well with the blazer. So this is the Louis Vuitton Capucines in the BB size with a python strip down the front um, and also just in gold hardware. This is a really good way to stay um, casual but put together tailored and uh, semi-formal. So yeah, here we go. I have quickly changed into some shorts and you can see um, these are my Balmain shorts um, that I got from a while ago. Oh, actually no, I think a couple of months as well. I did quite a few hauls a couple of months ago from the Boxing Day sales. But anyways, so what I wanted to show you, the prime purpose was to show you that you can certainly wear a blazer at least this Balmain blazer, with shorts. So, you know, these kind of shorts you'd usually see in, like, if you're going to the beach or something and you're going to brunch by the seaside um, afterwards, you know, these shorts are very, very casual. But if you chuck a blazer on, you can just see that it just elevates it. Um, I love these shorts, by the way. And I am wearing my Alexander McQueen kicks because I think that the white contrast with the black is really good and the denim and gold, um, it's just blue denim, is just goes with everything. And yeah, and I just think that it really gives it a nice pop. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, so this is now my very, very last outfit. Hopefully I have shown you guys that you can truly wear a Balmain blazer kind of like anywhere and with like any sort of outfit. It is a really, really stunning piece. It's hella expensive at nearly $3,000, but it is well worth the investment. Now I'm wearing the same shirt, the Peter Alexander shirt as well, because what I wanted to show you is I just wanted to keep exploring that idea of a capsule wardrobe. Environment is such a big thing these days, um, and I think it should have been a big thing for a very long time. Um, you know, for me, it's always been, I always buy more expensive pieces so I can keep them for longer. And I don't, I, I don't like fast fashion. I shop at Zara, but I shop for quality pieces, um, pieces that I will wear for a very long time. Uh, you know, and High Street as well. H&M I go to as well. I go there for pieces that will last me a long time. Basics, you know, singlets, t-shirts and stuff like that. Last me many, many years. I just, I don't really like fast fashion because it's very unenvironmental. And, you know, I think that buying or investing in really good expensive pieces of clothing is a good way to make sure if you pick right, I, I'm not saying that buying expensive, expensive things um, is environmental. You know, there are... Um, there are cases where it can be environmental and you don't have to go hella expensive like a Balmain blazer, but I do want to stress that it is a very, very good investment. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about um, is that I mentioned that there's going to be a giveaway. So, with that in mind, um, a giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers. So with that in mind, please guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button because it would mean so much to me. It helps content creators keep creating content because I can tell you this video, which is probably about 30 minutes long, actually took about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes now to film. It's nearly 10 p.m. Um, I have a day job and I love doing this. I love, love doing this. Um, and the positivity that I've received from everyone, the positive feedback has been incredible. So I really do appreciate it. And this is such an incredible experience. Um, but with that being said, though, um, it would still mean a lot if, I hit, if people hit subscribe because it would really kind of show me or even just hit that like button because it would show me that I'm on the right track and I'm doing things that you guys are enjoying as well because this is as much for you as it is for me. So 
I just want to say a big thank you guys and please do hit that subscribe button. If I hit a thousand subscribers, I will definitely be doing a massive giveaway. So thank you so much guys. I really appreciate your time and I will see you guys in my next one.